Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's doing great and staying safe. Welcome back. You know those test benches that tech YouTubers and overclockers use? Well, I always wanted one, but I also always thought that they were a bit too expensive. So I decided to make my own, and on this video I'm going to share it with you. The material I chose to do it was acrylic. I thought about using steel or wood, but they were going to be a bit inconvenient to work with. So I found a guy that does great work with acrylic and I decided it was the best way to go. So of course I had to start with the project. So I used the free version of Google SketchUp to do it online. During the build, I decided to make a couple of modifications, but I'll leave the exact parts I use in the video description. I found a guy that had this crazy laser cut machine for acrylic and was willing to work with me for my little project. He quickly made the necessary drawings in the computer and sent it to the machine for it to cut the acrylic. His laser cutter has a precision of 1mm, so it's exactly what I needed for my little PC test bench project. It's also pretty cool watching the laser cut through acrylic like a hot knife cuts through butter. So these were all the parts I thought I was gonna use. Turns out acrylic glue, it's extremely strong and you don't really need screws. Besides, it's a bit hard to drill through acrylic. The first step of the building phase was to glue the support rods to the structure rods. Then, set them aside to dry for 24 hours. So I carefully laid out the motherboard on what was going to be the top board of the test bench. And then, I made markings for where I have to drill for the standoffs. Once I had a couple of standoffs in place, I fastened the motherboard there and I started drilling straight through the motherboard holes. Everything seemed to be going kind of okay, except when I fastened one of the standoffs too much and it actually broke. I tried removing it with the drill but had no luck. So now I had a piece of the standoff stuck in the board and I decided that I was going to move the motherboard one centimeter down and start the process of drilling for the standoffs all over again. Another difficulty I was having was that the drill bit was sliding around the board while I was trying to drill it. So I removed the protective film to help that and it actually did. Second time around things went much smoother and I tried different motherboards to make sure the standoffs were in the right place. And of course, I didn't apply as much torque to the standoff, so I managed to screw them in without breaking anyone. So after this first day of work, I had the front rods with the attached support rods, and I had the top board of the test bench with the standoffs in. On the following day, I realized that the test bench was turning out much bigger than what I needed it to be. So I went back to the acrylic shop and I adjusted for some better measurement. Don't worry, if you want to try this at home, I only informed the updated measurements. Now it was time to glue all the support rods to the bottom board. Acrylic glue is really strong and it needs a catalyst to work. So you need to mix it about 5 minutes before you use to let the reaction happen. I was never a big arts and crafts guy but this thing was fairly easy. While gluing the top board on the rods, I realized that the rods on the back were not very straight. But I adjusted them and I put more glue to make sure that they're gonna stay strong. At the end of this day's work, the test bench was almost done. So I set it aside for the glue to settle for 24 hours, cause that's how much it needs. At this point, I glued a rod to support the brackets of the expansion cards, but this was clearly a mistake, because I still had to drill holes through it for the thumb screws. Now of course, that while I was working on the support rod for the expansion card brackets, it kinda came off, so I decided to take it off completely and work at it from the table, and then glue it back when I was done. I should have done this from the beginning, but this was one of the few mistakes that I made while doing this. Now the rod is very thin compared to the thumb screw that I needed to go through it. So I started with a very small drill bit and then I drilled a bigger one that sort of fit the thumb screw. I 
After the satisfying drilling process, I had to create the threads for the thumb screw. So this is a tedious process of screwing it in and out until the thread is created. With that done, I glued the rod that was going to support the bracket for the expansion cards back and I set it aside to dry for 24 more hours. With the test bench basically done, I just needed to choose some pads for it. So I was thinking about going with rubber or felt and I decided to go with felt because this way I can spin the test bench around to mess with the components. So I hope that was useful for you and that you do come back for some more tech related content. Leave a comment of what you think of life, the universe, everything in the video you just watched. Subscribe to the channel, like the video and I'll see you next time.